Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with our three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And a final one in through the nose and out through the mouth. Thank you so much. Keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. It will not resonate with everyone. Only take the parts that fit into your story and leave the rest for someone else. I do ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Let's dive into your messages. This is going to be for May 2nd through May 8th. Okay. First message I was really getting for you around this week is I don't care. Okay, I channeled all of these messages. I have channel message cards here. Uh, we'll dive into your cards in a little bit, but this is what I channeled for the week to begin. This message around I don't care. There's something, Virgo, I just feel like you don't care. <laughs> like people keep saying things to you or people keep doing things to you and you're just kind of like, I don't care. It's like nothing's really bothering you. I feel like you're just allowing things to, I'm hearing um, water off a duck's back, so that could resonate, but I don't know. There's just this I don't care attitude or I don't, I don't care energy around you, okay? Someone's birthday could be the 5th, September 5th. I picked up the channel number 905, okay? Or you could be seeing 905 a lot. I also got two channeled songs for you. Well, I guess three, uh, but two of them are channeled songs and then the third one's more about people wanting to like come back um, this week and tell you that you're, replace you're irreplaceable, right? So there's this energy of you figuring out or finding out this week about people um, trying to replace you kind of is what I'm getting and you're like, I'm irreplaceable, but we'll get to that in a second. Your first channeled song is Sarah Smiles by Panic at the Disco and the lyrics I was getting were Sarah smiles like Sarah doesn't care. She lives in a world so unaware. So your name could be Sarah, or Sarah could be someone that you've um, connected with before. It could be a friend, an ex-lover, a parent, okay? I feel like the name Sarah is significant this week. You may meet a Sarah, or Sarah is coming up for you this week, okay? All right, but there's something about smiling even though you don't care, so that could be you or somebody you're dealing with, okay? I was just, in that lyric, you also heard, like, Sarah doesn't care, and there's an energy of not caring this week. I don't know if that's intentional. We'll figure that out. It might be, it might be intentional for some of you, and it might not be intentional for others of you, because this next channeled song is Bad Intentions by Nike Heaton, and I was getting, I got some damn bad intentions. You know? Okay, Bad Intentions by Nike Heaton. And I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but it's like, I got some damn bad intentions. Mm -hmm. And this could be this Knight of Wands energy, because I do feel like there's a Knight of Wands coming towards you. Today I saw um, something in real life that gave very much Knight of Wands. It was a portrait or a painting of like a cowboy with the, with the, with the horse, like, in that position, you know, like up, kind of like kicking. So it's giving like someone has bad intentions or someone's coming back with bad intentions or there's something going on that's like <sighs> someone's really driven okay i'm getting something about forest you could live in the forest someone's name could be forest or i mean you could live near like a wooded area right there's like a lot of trees around you it's a very there's a lot of forest okay i'm seeing snow as well now currently you could live in a very snowy area i'm hearing new york um, canada alberta is coming through specifically all right, but I was getting this energy of something or someone because it could be a, a job opportunity or it could be like a, an ex-friend, okay, an ex-lover. Knight of Wands energy is someone who's coming in through with bad intentions for you. And now that's only in this specific scenario, okay? This person feels like it's like um, an in and out situation, like somebody who wants to come back and use you again or steal from you again or take your energy again and then go off and do the thing that they've been doing it's very much the in and out character it's very much that person who ghosted you or that person who now regrets the last six months of their life because they haven't been with you and i'm getting this energy of someone's coming through telling you like hey i learned a lesson hey i've learned this lesson it's like okay good for you i'm glad you learned the lesson don't treat other people the way you treated me you know what I'm saying? But they're like, no, you won't take me back. Like, you won't be with me. Like, what do you mean? That's the kind of energy I'm getting for you this week. So be mindful of that. Okay. That could be friends. Okay. Or lovers. Right. Um, I also picked up this itchy left hand. So some of you may have an itchy left hand currently. Um, 
I looked it up and it says you may have to pay something or that's kind of like the spiritual meaning. If it was your right hand that was itching, that would be a sign of money coming into you. But I'm getting like this itchy left hand could mean you have to pay something so you could still have to pay your rent this week. If that is you and you've been stressed about it because I'm getting this I don't care energy surrounding like life in general or money or going to do things or just having motivation. I do see that coming through this week with the Knight of Wands, okay, in the next five days from whenever you listen to this. I feel like after five days are up, you're going to feel this passion, okay, again, or this motivation that you've been needing. So this I don't care attitude is what is kind of going on for you this week, but those of you who it, the rent is what's stressing you out or this need to like pay something, I feel like once you pay it, then something will come in for you. Spirit's waiting for you to release control or release the funds so that you can be blessed or so that something can come in for you, okay? So you may have to pay something in order to get something else. Getting something about transaction or purchase of services, okay? So you could be a business owner and it's like maybe you have to spend a bunch of money to get something for your business, but once you spend that money to invest in the business, then Spirit brings like 20 or 30 more clients and you get double the profit. Does that make sense? That's kind of what I'm getting for some of you, okay? Uh, but it doesn't have to be a business situation. It's just kind of like you giving you giving away control of that money or releasing that money and the spirit being able to bring something in towards you, okay? And then we got Irreplaceable by Beyonce. And that's what I was feeling. It's like this energy of people feeling like you are irreplaceable. And now they're recognizing that, Virgo, because you are irreplaceable. Okay, Beyonce wrote this song, or it's a Beyonce song. Beyonce's a Virgo. So there's this energy of like, yes, Virgo, you are irreplaceable. And you tried to tell them that. You maybe even tried to warn them that. I've been getting this energy of like warning shots have been fired. So I feel like your spirit team has already fired the warning shots to the people who have been sending you negative energy or who had bad intentions to you. And if they're ignoring it and saying, I don't care, then spirit's got something for them. You know what I'm saying? There's this energy of preserving your voice this week. So maybe you are a singer. Maybe you have like a speech coming up or you have something to do where you have to use your voice. There's this energy of like, just listen this week and kind of observe, sit back. I was also hearing don't speak unless spoken to. And there's something about your identity. So you may be like needing to cover up your identity this week or going under like a nickname or a false name or wearing like sunglasses, something for you to feel like protected I'm getting. But there's energy of like, you don't want to be seen, okay? There's something about like preserving your energy, preserving your voice, okay? Concealing your identity, I'm kind of getting here. Uh, but preserve your voice. I'm also getting like, don't speak if you don't have to speak on it, right? Spirits, this don't speak unless spoken to, I feel like it's something that you would prefer to do. But sometimes I think that maybe you over speak or you over tell because you want to be so helpful or you want to, or you probably already have the answer for the person and you want to be able to help them. But getting this emphasis, on preserving your voice so just kind of like letting people do their shit you know what i'm saying like i don't care that i don't care attitude is really kind of like all over this reading i'm really feeling and maybe you've been feeling that way this new moon solar eclipse was intense and all of this like astrological energy we've had going on has been really hard i feel like on us as just human beings so you're not alone okay <laughs> you're not alone at all but there's this thing about i keep hearing someone say i went i tried to replace you and i figured out that you're irreplaceable and it's like so you just told me you tried to replace me. You know what I'm saying? You can't replace the prize. You can't replace the trophy. Once it's gone, it's gone. I just don't think that these people understand that. And maybe you're going to be the one who teaches them that. You know? I'm hearing, you're gonna be the one that saves me. Cause after all, you're my wonder I have it sometimes but um there was some there's an emphasis on here around this energy it's like someone thought that you could save them and I think there's also a line in Sarah Smiles where it's like they th it's like they think that Sarah's going to save them right or you saved me once you can save me again some kind of energy like that it's like maybe you did provide a lot of like calm and therapy and safety and comfort for this person before they abused it, they misused it, and they went on looking to the next. They went on to find that in someone else because you didn't have everything that they wanted. You didn't tick off every single box that they wanted. And honestly, they weren't looking for a relationship. I know this is kind of coming through in terms of like a love message, but I do think that you're going to experience it this week. That's why I'm picking up on all of this. So please remember to only take the parts that do resonate for this reading and leave the rest for someone else. But there's this energy of irreplaceable. So it's like, call up that chick and see if she's home. Oops, I bet you thought that I didn't know. 
What did you think I was putting you out for? Because you wasn't true. Mm, driving around in that car that I bought you. Baby, drop them keys. Hurry up before your taxi leaves. Standing in the front yard telling me how I'm such a fool. Talking about how I'll never ever find a man like you. You got me twisted. If you are a singer, please be making sure you're drinking a lot of tea this week. I see you could have like a performance coming up or um, I don't know. I feel like that's going to be something important that you do. Maybe you have to do some kind of like special work or something this week and you need your voice. So make sure you're drinking a lot of tea this week or just like warm beverages on the throat, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you. All right, Virgos, let's dive into your cards. So far, if these messages have been resonating, please make sure to click that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. All right, Virgo, May 2nd through May 8th. What are the cards, please, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? We have perseverance. Wow, I'm hearing don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams this week, Virgo. Don't give up on that manifestation. Don't give up on yourself, okay? I'm also hearing don't give up on your faith. Don't give up on your beliefs, okay? This perseverance card says you may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Virgo, you're literally like the sign of perseverance. <laughs> like truly, I feel it. There's such a, this energy of like, you've been through something, right? Or you've been through a lot of things. And a lot of people don't understand that because they just get things handed them in life or that's how it seems or that's how it looks, right? But we can't focus on how other people are living their lives. And we can't focus on what's going on in other people's lives. There's this need to really pay attention to yourself and focus on yourself. Cause I see third party energies kind of coming to a close or there's this, this energy around like third parties, right? So, I think there's this need this week to kind of like hone in on one thing or zone in on one thing and really focus on that. It's like if you want work, if you want money, focus on that, you know? I feel like you need a one track mind for something because whatever you put time and energy into right now will grow exponentially is what I'm hearing. But I think you just need to get your priorities straight, if I'm being honest with you. That's what I'm seeing. We have this three of pentacles here and there's a nude model on this. So some of you could do nude modeling or you could be interested in nude modeling or modeling in general. I'm seeing this this thing about like you're going to discover that you can make way, money in unorthodox ways, right? There's this thing about you, Virgo, where you do something very tastefully or very like beautifully, okay? And you could do it for work. So maybe you're considering like an OnlyFans or like showing more of your body. I feel like that is encouraged by spirit, okay? I'm just genuinely picking that up. And that's only for those of you who have been thinking about it, right? Turning that into profit, okay? It's like if you want to make money off of your body, go ahead. Who's stopping you? You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's about not letting other people's judgment get in the way. But you are also your own worst enemy and your worst harshest critic. And I feel like, yeah, Spirit's saying this is the truth. It's like set yourself free from those limits that you've been placing on yourself, okay? If you want to do it, you want to do it. All right, but that's only a specific message for some of you. I do see money picking up for you this week, okay? An opportunity for more work or just like you finally getting compensated okay or paid here you could also be meeting a mentor around this week or mentoring someone i've been picking up the channeled message the teacher shows up when the student is ready so maybe you just haven't been ready to take that next step yet um and now this week you are okay ace of swords i feel like there's a lot of writing or journaling going on for you this week okay someone could be taking a test hearing the asvab test and then wow look we have the knight of wands okay i remember when i was picking that up <laughs> Spirit is too good. But I do see someone coming in towards you with like a confession or the, yeah, the truth in general here. It could be about a work situation, okay? You could be waiting to receive um, an acceptance to a work situation or waiting to hear back from work. You will hear back from them this week. Okay, I'm getting by Wednesday, right? So if you've been worried about that, okay, don't give up, right? This could also have to do with like a, a dream job or like a dream person, right? Don't give up on that person. Okay, because you are someone's sun and moon. As I said that, the two of cups. Virgo, there's a real loving energy around you this week. I don't know if it's you or someone else. I feel like it could be someone else kind of coming through to confess their feelings for you. And I don't know if you know about this. Yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Don't even think you see this coming with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. There could be some kind of insecurity that you're dealing with right now or battling through, okay? And there's no judgment here at all. I just see that. 
I think it's because you're kind of still overcoming this like past energy and really letting go and purging and clearing out all the stuff that no longer serves you. So in that process, it's bringing up a lot of um, disappointment energy, right? Just kind of things that didn't work out for you in the past. I feel like you're really seeing that this week and understanding why it didn't happen. And even though the clarity makes it easier to move on, it doesn't make it any less difficult to relive or re-experience. For some of you, I feel like you're also giving closure to someone this week or you're just kind of rejecting someone and that doesn't feel good either, but you know you have to do it because it's just not going to work the way that you want it to. That's what I'm seeing. Someone could have red hair, okay? Or someone's been thinking about dyeing their hair red. We have the nine of wands here. Your money is healing, right? There's a need for you to know that. Spirit keeps bringing that up, that you're going to have the money that you've been looking for or the money that you need, right? Spirit will provide that for you, okay? We have the Queen of Cups under the Ace of Swords here. Getting really clear about your emotions this week, why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling, you know what I'm saying? That's what's coming up. You're finally figuring out what's been going on with you. Just a lot of energy around you, you know what I'm saying? But I think that this week there's a need for you to kind of pull yourself back and to give yourself credit for where you have been. Continue to persevere because you've been persevering, right? You give me that spiritual warrior energy, Virgo. I always get this energy of like, I don't want to, but I will because I feel like I have to. And there's just this persistence and perseverance to you that's really, really admirable. And I think that you should give yourself more credit this week, okay? Four of Pentacles, this is that itchy left hand energy I was picking up. The Four of Pentacles can become very miserly, so you may be feeling kind of miserable and like, I don't care, right? Some of you may be even having that thought bubble or that intrusive thought of like, well, you know what, I'll just accept the person from the past or you know what, I'll just go hook up with someone or I'll just go out to the clubs. And there's no judgment to anybody who's doing those things, right? But I'm getting that, Virgo, you've been on this like, I don't want to say straight and narrow path, although for some of you, you have been, but you've been on this path of like, purging, cleansing, the inner soul work, getting yourself to a good place. And now you're just at that like last mile, that last hurdle. And instead of like giving up and going into that like toxic mindset, you're being guided to just push a little bit harder, which I know is easier said than done. But if anyone can do it, Virgo, it is you, okay? Also, Knight of Wands over top of this Four of Pentacles means that somebody does want to come in and tell you now that they find you irreplaceable. They haven't been able to move on without you. They've been crying. They've been upset. Okay, I do feel some kind of a manipulation tactic here. That's why I have to... That's what I'm seeing. There's this energy of someone trying to, like, manipulate you into loving them again. Could be a Leo, okay? Could be a fire sign in general. Could be a water sign. Signs are not important, but you probably know who I'm talking about by now. So... It's this energy of somebody who now recognizes your worth and now sees that they could have had a relationship with you. But you see how it's like the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups? They're disappointed that they didn't have a relationship with you before. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Some of you will choose to see where this goes, but for most of you, I feel like you're not because it doesn't fit with you anymore. It no longer aligns to your path. And like I was feeling, it's like you're giving a new perspective to this person because this person thought that they could just come back in whenever they wanted. They thought that you would be waiting for them, four of pentacles. They thought that you were going to be sitting exactly where you are waiting for them, but you're in the three of pentacles energy this week. So I feel like you are going to have to give over some money like we were talking about or spend something. It's like you get what you give. So there's this emphasis to give without the expectation to receive this week, but you need to give something away this week is what I'm feeling. Whether that be money, your time, your gifts, I don't know. But you're in the Three of Pentacles when they come back and they're like, oh, you're already talking to someone new or you're already working on another project or you're just busy or you're not looking for me anymore. And that's exactly why they're coming in. Okay, Hanged Man though, under the Five of Cups, you already, yeah, I feel like you've been talking to your spirit team here, the hermit energy, there you are, Virgo, but it's like your guides have been preparing you for this. Your guides have been kind of like letting you know that this energy is coming towards you again so that you can finally close out this cycle is what I'm feeling. I'm also getting something about like new people coming towards you with real genuine love that's not like the past here. They could be of Pisces or also have a lot of water in their chart. I'm hearing something about a younger water sign, so that could resonate. Uh, but somebody who wants to help you heal or somebody who is a part of your healing journey, okay? And there is something about you can't heal in the place that hurt you, okay? Or you can't heal with the person who hurt you. I'm unsure how that goes. Maybe you know. Okay, we have a high honor. Someone could be 25, okay? Or the 25th could be significant. I feel like you are coming into a place of high honor, but there's this like war energy. I feel like you've stopped fighting or there's this need to stop fighting something. Yeah, it's not your fight to fight, this pathway card wanting to come up in the reverse. There's another path for you, Virgo. There's another like 
journey or something else for you. It's just requiring a little bit more faith, a little bit more endurance, a little bit more drive. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. 35 could also resonate here. We have some butterflies, so transformations going on for you this week. But I'm getting like a new path is being opened for you. And there's something about like war. Your spirit team has gone to war for you or your spirit team is going to war for you right now. There's all of this like cannons, right? And remember when I was saying the warning shots have been fired? And they have been. Because these people were trying to block your happiness. These people were trying to block your light. These people have made you think things about yourself that are untrue. I have to be honest, that's what I'm seeing. So it's like... Spirit's fighting for you in the background so that you can have this new beginning, so you can have this clean slate, you can have this fresh new path, right? I'm hearing Spirit loves you, Virgo. Spirit wants you to be loved, okay? So that was all I have for you this week. I hope that that helps and resonates. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button for me to show support and push the video out to other Virgos who need to hear their messages. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. And if you'd like to donate for today's reading or future readings, you can do so either in the description box below. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.